title the judge divine renovation. The judge is divine renovation. I will read the first chapter that the church when the Christ is read, there was one part of the ocean was given to the scouts and camps because the church was becoming like a sports club and the scouts club and less parishioners were coming for church than the others were going there. So this parish who went there, he began to buy the renovation and close that club first. So they just found a bit southside. I saw the youngsters close this sports club to the side of the car. So you have to come to Sami. So you have to go to the Vikrit, to the Abhav, to the Valentine, to the Ustha registration. Then I thought, if you have to call the Gulai, you have to call the Gulai. The renovation is fine. The church renovation is fine. The human renovation is fine. Why? We have to be honest with God to apply it to God. Let me talk to us. Please be Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews 4 16 says, before they read, otherwise it's a father to father who's in the chapter. Let us approach the throne of the grace of God where you will find mercy and grace in the same time. Hallelujah. Please read now. Hebrews 4, 16. Let us say with confidence, draw near to the throne of grace, that we will receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Jabi Hukko Pata Chalega. Yoko. Let us approach the throne of the grace of the mercy of God. They will find grace and help in the time of your need. Dharmit Takli, Chalo Hathi Vishy Paas. Problem, Chalo Saura Ki Paas Naisa Lani. Takli Ko Gai, Dr. Ki Paas. Sabas Yagi, and Jesus says, Come to me, don't go anywhere else. Come to me, I will give you rest. How many of us go to Jesus? How many of us go to Jesus? How many of you have experienced Jesus as your personal Savior and Lord? Question mark. Next seminar will be there. When you hear about the Lord, seminar will be there. Why can't we have? Just in the middle of the room, dash, dash, dash. Go to the Parsi gentleman, coming from the Zoroastrian village. He stood up over there. My dear friends, today I am going to introduce to you the best management guru of the century. His name is Jesus Christ. He said 2,000 years ago, what it will profit a person if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul. My dear friends, Parsi gentlemen, not the church heavily in the management seminar and he is introducing Jesus as a management guru. And he is quoting, you know what? He is quoting from Matthew's Gospel chapter 16, 26 saying, what can you profit a person if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? I hope and pray all of you that intercession be gone out of you. Guru Vahir intercession in you. Here they are the part. He can intercession in our way. Father Lord Ka Kalvashi Runa Chai. Puri Father Lord. This church is here. This spiritual house of prayer was there. This renovation, this club for those who spoke to the Father Lord. ये प्रार्थना करो, तुम्हारे सामने करो, उसको जाके बोलो, ये फादर ने ऐसा बोला, उसको वापस खाना मत दो, वापस वापस आओ बेटा, because I want the upper body moving के लिए body again तो मास्टर ने बोला कि अच्छा अच्छा बात करो, और उसे को प्लीज करो, और वो डिसेटिस्फाई करो, जाओ, नहीं जाएगा, no problem, no problem, Jesus, 
He said this man speaks not like the authority of the Pharisees, he speaks with authority of God. Say hallelujah. For what will it profit a man? What will it profit a man? Man means what? Only not man. The women also allow to speak uh, this way. Women? Pray. If he, if he gains the whole world, if he gains the whole world, and forfeits his life, forfeits his, what forfeits his what? Loses his own soul. Or what shall a man give it return to his life? Man or woman, a person, get one's life. Hindi में कहता हूँ क्या पाएगा वो जीतकर दुनिया को क्या लाभ होगा होगा आत्मा को आत्मा को खोने के लिए तो सब कुछ हो इसी दिन हम लोग जो अब जो से नेगी राय के ऊपर मैं मदद दूँ नेगी राय का रिटर्न गॉड गेम गॉड बुकी का नेम रेसिपी द नेम ऑफ द लॉ जो वन ट्वेंटी वन जो वन ट्वेंटी वन मॉनिटर द टाइम यू हैव टू गिव योर टाइम टू सी एक ट्वेंटी फाइव टू गेट स्टार्ट द एडमिशन सब से हालेलुया गरीबों को बांटता हूँ भगवान 
spring, there is freedom. This is a divine mercy, the mercy of God, not my mercy. Next, if you check this slide now, we have a focus on the human there. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and again the same foundation as well. The Lord is making a sacrifice. So now, the three levels of divine mercy. How many levels? First, ask for mercy. What is for this? Ask for mercy. Yes, yeah. it's very tough. Have mercy on you, Lord, a sinner. Have mercy on you, Lord, a sinner. Second, be merciful. Be merciful to your husband. Be merciful to your wife. Many are not merciful. Many women are very abusive over their husband, and a husband is not abusive. Now you see, really, after you go back home, when you have five or ten minutes late, your husband is watching the IPL. As soon as you go there, no, they are going to have a fight. But if you have not seen this divine mercy, you will not open your mouth. The Lord has very for it. Because He has got comfort zone. If His time is not there, if His shot is not available, if His comfort zone is disturbed, He is going to, you know, get added to the place of this is what happens. And some of you will go back. If you are not seeing His mercy, you will start talking to Him and fighting with Him. Leave him alone. Your yeah, friends, this is the important. Be merciful to others. And the next is, be merciful to the universe. I was with Radha to see all the captions that are going through just now. Amazing captions from the Bible. And from, I spoke to other friends and said, I said, I don't know where I'm going. I want to take a snap of the box and go. You have never noticed it. But Paul, when he went to Athens, he went to every temple, 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 temple that he that evening he was meeting the Greek community even. He said, Today I am going to talk about a God who you believe, who you have an altar to be unknown God. That God is known as Jesus Christ. And when he began to speak, the Greek people were transformed. But when he said resurrection of life, all of them went away. Because they don't believe in the resurrection of life. Here and now, Abhi or Isiba, who say, Ma, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. Our life is not like that. Our life is much more than this present physical life. That is the resurrection of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next one. Okay, what is going to be Justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Or justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You know, in the constitution, now these people have a tripod bully here. This tripod bully has got three legs. We have got chairs with the four legs, right? Any uh, animal, whether it is a herbivorous or carnivorous, has got four legs. What are the four legs of democracy? First, fraternity, equality, fraternity, justice, and liberty. This is challenge today. And we need to pray for our country, which is relying on the four pillars of democracy. There are some fragmentation and trying to take these elements out. This is justice, mercy and faithfulness. You got to be faithful to your husband. You got to be merciful to your family members and you have to also practice justice. There are some who do not practice justice. The teachers who are very partial to others, to their students, their favorites, those parents who get them a nice gifts, they are very good to them. The rest of the children are monkeys and donkeys. They say it also. You monkeys and donkeys, good for nothing, children, where have you come from? This teacher has not experienced mercy. She is a merciless teacher. And she happened to be a teacher ridiculing their children. So sad. Yes or no? Yes. But how about telling the children? The children, please pray and unique and special and incomparable. So nice. Problem? Problem is that if I don't have anything, I cannot give you. If I don't have God, if I don't have Jesus, I cannot give you Jesus, I cannot give you God. Then, please be generous in the collection box, be generous in the collection box all the time, you will be totally that. Unfortunately, ok, 
一定比你多高的，他的年龄比较高，更瘦，来吧，别扭。Only problem that's happening, and it's a church renovation, not building renovation. Building renovation, you do how much you want. There is not room to work. Like Europe, the churches are empty. Now to enter the church, you have to pay and enter inside because you cannot maintain the empty churches. ये भी होली वाला है और भाई मैंने prophecy करके रखा हूँ पहले आप याद करेंगे unfortunate okay next one number three Number three, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Who shouting this? The blind man. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. That's the divine mercy. Jesus said, bring him here. And Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? Please read. Gospel said, Luke chapter 18, 41. 18, 41 says, Jesus told and like, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, Lord, let me receive my sight. Before that, chapter 18, 49. I, yeah. Yeah, number 40. And Jesus saw and commanded, commanded him to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, Who are you? Who asked him? Jesus. Jesus asked the man, What he asked? What do you want me to do for you? The same question this evening, Jesus asked him, You, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Lord, be merciful. Lord, let me experience your mercy. Lord, let me approach the throne of the mercy of God. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Some, some people have a problem with hallelujah. Not all of us are very, uh, what do you call it, positively saying hallelujah. I went for a blended mission. And uh, in the blended mission, we sang hallelujah and all that. And then I got the message on my phone saying that, Dear Father, half the parish is grumbling about you, saying that why Father Alden is forcing us to say Hallelujah during the Lenten season. I have a time. Mount, mind in my hand. That evening I said, there are some people who doesn't want to say Hallelujah. One of the first thing I explained to you what is Hallelujah. During the Lenten season, only the Roman Catholic Church not forbid you, but say, don't say hallelujah during the mass time. We never said hallelujah during the mass time. But now, last three days, people are grumbling in this parish that Father Alvin is forcing to say hallelujah. I want to tell these people, they are ready to drink, they are ready to eat meat, they are ready to even sleep with somebody else's wife, but they will not say hallelujah. Why? Church is saying, don't say hallelujah. See how self-righteous the people are. Yes, yeah, sir. Morality, no problem. Drinking, no problem. Doing what we like, no problem. Watching TV, no problem. Don't say hallelujah in the legend season. You go straight to heaven and Catholic church or dear by the name. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We have been teaching them like this. How many of you have read the entire Bible just read your hand? One or two. दूसरे जो नहीं हाँ ऊपर क्या पढ़ो बाल मरने के बाद पढ़ो अंदर पहले पढ़ो मरने के बाद पढ़ो because Bible says basic instructions before leaving for B R B L E so don't read B R B L E stands for basic instructions before leaving for so don't read it you know something अगर चाल है तो अभी चालू करो and during the first day, go home and read Acts the Apostle chapter 1. Start with that first. Start with 28 minutes time, we finish the 28 chapter. So it's good. Don't do any overdose. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here it is important. Jesus asking you and me, what do you want me to do for you? And Jesus says, and man said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. 
that you and I may receive our sight. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next one. Mark 9 and 2. Okay. Next. Romans 12 and 1. Therefore I ask you, brothers and sisters, to the mercy of God. To the mercy of God, I ask all of you. The mercy of God. Please read that quotation completely. It's only half is there. Chapter 12, 1. Okay, that's enough. Offer yourself as a Now, if you want to offer as a living sacrifice to God without any offense to anyone in the church or any ministers anywhere, if you are supposed to offer your sacrifice as a living sacrifice, why do you wear a jumper and walk to the altar? Ask any day What is given in the top? Exodus chapter 3 verse 5. Exodus 3 5 says, Lord told Moses to not come near take your sandals. I don't say sandals. You know what is I used to say? Now say, take your footwear out. When you say sandal, not people will come in chapel. People are very people are very strong. They will come in shoes. Other it is given as sandals. No more chalaki. So he said, My extra chapter is now. Take off your footwear. Take off your footwear. Make it ask for public and church name. Ladies, okay? In the Sepata, in the Sepata, in the Sepata, in the Sepata. This is the word of the Lord. That day, I was taking a new session after the mass. So I asked the youth, gave all the girls, it was on Palm Sunday, yeah, Palm Sunday. Uh, what was the first reading today? Everybody is looking at each other. They are looking at me also. I said, they are not seeing me. I said, you don't know now. One boy, father, I don't read, I don't know the reading. But I know who did the reading. Samja? Holy Nagarwale? There are more than me. You know why? There are the Malabo. Hallelujah. There are the Malabo. Okay? Now see, that boy was attentive to the girl who was reading in modest street dress with small, with high heels. This is a desecration of the sanctuary. Don't follow any priest example. We also come with their footwear on my name. If you have the guts, tell them, Father, Moses said, don't come close to the Lord, you know, put there. When I told this, no, the parishioners went and told the parish priest, parish priest, but of course, why? You know, God told them, fasting is not going to be able to do it. So, if you are in the world, you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. It is very important. By the way, just for your information, general information, if you go to Tamil Nadu, you go to any place in South India, Karnataka, Kerala, Telugu Church, Tamil Church, Chappal Aau, Samjagya, Chappal Aau, they don't allow, they have followed the custom of India. Here, that's why they are not getting the power, that's why they are not getting converted. Now I have a request to Mark's community, Mark's very community, you go down, you take it over by your head, you wear your chapel to come to church, no problem. Because there is no provision to keep your chapel outside, but when you come for holy communion, take your foot well there and come and receive the Lord with reverence. Will you do that for me? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stop here. First of all, another talk on the Friday night. What is my takeaways? A, B, and C of Divine Mercy. A, ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. B, be merciful. Be merciful. 
to home, to your husband, to your children, to your grandchildren. Especially all the grannies. Don't raise your hands on the grandchildren. Don't always instruct them. Suppose, what is your name? Daniel. Daniel, don't do this. Daniel, don't sit there. 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 Daniel, just allow them. Don't raise your hands. And those parents who are here, who children are here tonight, just raise your hand. They are born and break away. They will begin to study. They will go to John's family. They will get born in my place. Say hallelujah. 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 Call me. Call me. Be merciful to the universe. See, commit your life to Jesus. See, stand for commit your life to Jesus. So, stand for us to start the adoration service. This adoration service is centered around Jesus, the divine healer. The divine healer. So, let us approach the, the mercy of God. Then, let us all of you stand up. Let the Lord of God, yes, let us bow down before him. Let us worship him. Let's join us in the hymn. Come and worship.